Today, I'm going to make a video of comparing different parts in SFS to my actual height in real life. We're gonna start with a simple strut, and then we're gonna end up comparing the size of Mars to the size of the sun. I'm 5'11", which is about 2 meters tall. The smallest part in SFS is the strut, and at 0.5 meters is about the size of a school backpack. Compared to me, it goes to about right here. The second smallest part is the RCS. At 0.7 meters tall, it goes to about right here, and if you're above 0.7 meters tall, make sure you subscribe and full screen the video. Next, we're gonna look at the probe. At 1 meter tall and 2 meters wide, it goes to about right here, and things are starting to get pretty big. This next part is the only engine that I can see the top of, other than the ion engine. At 1.5 meters, the Colibri engine stands to about shoulder height when next to me. Next, we have the capsule, and at 2 meters tall, just barely passing my height, it stands to about right here. And I hope in the new astronaut update, we can fit more than just one astronaut in there. It seems pretty packed. From here, things are going to start escalating very quickly. For example, already towering over me at 3 meters tall, we have the Hawk engine. Let's take a look at two more parts before we go out onto the launch pad. The biggest engine in game is currently the Titan engine. At 4 meters tall, it is literally the mass equivalent of three mid-sized cars. Let's take a look at the large solar panel. When it's retracted, it stands at half a meter tall. However, when extended, it reaches up to a staggering 13 meters. Now we're on the launch pad. Sitting in the ground at 97.5 meters wide, it's pretty much the size of an American football field. Going back to vertical measurements, if we take the height of the three-stage rocket, it stands at 35 meters tall, which is equivalent in height to an eight-story building. Now let's take a step back to look at the sizes of the planets and moons. The smallest place you can go to in the current solar system would be one of Mars's moons, Deimos. Its diameter is roughly 1.2 kilometers, just in case you want to build a box around it. If you want to measure it in three-stage rockets, Rockets, it would take 34.28 three-stage rockets to span across the entire diameter of Deimos. Now let's look at the moon. The moon is 173 kilometers in diameter, which is equivalent to the height of 4,943 three-stage rockets. Now if we compare the Earth to the moon, the Earth is 630 kilometers, which means the diameter is 3.64 times that of the moon, which is also 17,943 three-stage rockets stacked on top of each other. But it doesn't stop there. If we compare the diameter of Earth to the diameter of Jupiter, it would take 40.5 Earths to span across Jupiter. If you measured in three-stage Stage rockets, it's going to take 200,000 three-stage rockets to get from one side to the other if they were stacked end-to-end. -end. But we have one last comparison to make. We still have to compare Jupiter to the size of the Sun. The Sun has a diameter of 69.634 million meters, which takes about 10 Jupiters to span from one side to the other. In three-stage rockets, however, that's 1.989 million three-stage rockets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.